Hello, I'm Odin, and this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm still going to make something at the very end of the video, but right now I'm going to talk about the 3D printer that I have. This is the Neva by Dagomop. Now this is the first 3D printer I've really gotten to play with. You could pretty much say I'm a complete noob, which would be true. I've never needed a 3D printer before, at least I didn't think I did. I've always made everything with my hands. Having a 3D printer is really cool. I'm not going to, not going to lie to you. And this one I thought was really easy to use. It almost works right out of the box. Now basically, once I unpacked it, I was practically done. The only thing I really had to assemble was these orange arms, which are magnetic, and they simply snap into place. Now the print plate isn't heated, but it is pressure sensitive. So when you unpack it, you need to remove the stops that make sure that it doesn't rattle and actually hurt the sensors. Plus, there's an additional one around the back and we're ready to add filament and print. Now the Neva comes with software and an SD card to save your files onto. So once your file is saved, you simply put it into the front, hit the button, and it self calibrates and starts printing. I like the fact that it's printing off the SD card and it's not tethered to my computer. In fact, I've got this on the opposite side of the building from where I do my files. Now you do have the ability to pause and change colors of filament while printing by pressing the button and double tap and it ejects the filament. Now if you have another color of PLA, I only have orange, you can feed that back into the machine and start the print back up again from that pause point, which I think is actually really pretty cool and smart for a one button printer. Now, what can Odin do with a 3D printer? And so the first thing I printed was Pathfinder miniatures and custom Lego heads. But what I really wanted to do was make props. And I lucked out because there's a local group here called the Trash Film Orgy, which is the best name ever. And they're currently making a fantasy hack and slash film called Grunk the Smasher. It's an epic tale of swords and sorcery set in a time of unspeakable horror. This thing's going to be a lot of fun. And I told the producers that I had a 3D printer and they got super excited and asked if I could make a medallion that the bad guys in their movie could wear. So this has just got the symbol of the evil cult that uh, Grunk is going to be fighting and all of the minions of this cult will be wearing this as a medallion around their neck. Now I could print them all if I wanted to. I could simply set up the 3D printer and let it print away and I could make up however many they're going to need for the hordes that are going to slaughter in the movie. But I wanted to make it a little bit easier so I only printed up one. Now use that as a master to make a silicon mold. This is pretty simple. I just laid it down, put a drink cup around it, poured silicon over it, peeled it out. Now I've got a mold. And then I can just pour urethane resin into it and lay in whatever I want to use as a necklace into the wet resin. The resin sets up in like 15 minutes and I can demold it. And I was able to make some urethane medallions. Now I was able to cast up about 10 of these medallions in the same amount of time that it took me to print one. So this actually became faster when I needed to make more of them. Plus it's easy to get more in case one breaks on set or it gets lost or best of all, they were so happy with this, they're probably going to get used as Kickstarter giveaways for the next round of funding that Grunk's going to be doing here in just a little bit. To finish them off, a quick thing of gold spray paint, a little bit of weathering, and you have Evil Clan medallions with a master that was originally 3D printed. I'd like to thank Dagomoff for sending me this so I could review it really quick today and tell you about it. And honestly, I really like it and I'm very glad they sent it to me. I'm pretty excited about the things that I can do with this in the future, but don't worry, this isn't going to become a 3D printing channel. I am more interested in what I can make with my hands and how I can maybe utilize this as parts of my builds. Now, if you want more information on the Neva printer, there's a link in the description. And if you click on that, you'll help support my channel and the crazy things that I do here on Odin Makes.